Do you know that there are two goals in DKA treatment? The first one, of course, to control hyperglycemia, but the second and most important one is to close the anion gap, not to normalize serum bicarb level. So always look at the anion gap level, not the serum bicarb level when you're trying to win your patient off insulin drip. On the other hand, the goal of treatment in non-ketotic hyperismolar hyperglycemia is of course to control hyperglycemia, also patients to become mentally clear and for the effective plasma osmolality to fall below 315 millismol per kg. To achieve these targets, three things are needed to be provided to these patients. Fluid resuscitations, insulin administration, electrolyte monitoring and replacement. Remember that the primary cause of patient mortality during the initial phase of DKA and non-ketotic hyperosmolar hyperglycemia is severe dehydration and volume depletion along with imbalanced electrolytes rather than the lack of insulin therapy. Fluid resuscitation should be started as soon as possible. It's okay to delay insulin therapy, but it's never okay to delay fluid resuscitation. Thanks for watching.